Hey guys, uh, chapter 23, question number 11, Gauss law. Figure shows a section of three long charged uh, cylinders centered on the same axis. Uh, central cylinder A has a uniform charge QA equal to plus 3Q0. Uh, what uniform charges QB and QC should be on cylinders B and C so that if possible the net electric field is zero at point uh, part A point number one, part B point two and part C point three. So we are given a system of three coaxial cylinders, uh, cylinder A, cylinder A and then we have cylinder B, this is B here, then we have cylinder C. Okay. So this is a system of three coaxial cylinders. Uh, Cylinder A is charged, charge of cylinder A is given, QA is equal to plus 3 times QO. We had to find out charge on B and charge on C under the condition that field at point number 1 is 0, then the next bit field at point number 2 is 0, then the next bit field at point number 3 is 0. Point number 1 lies between A and B, point number 2 lies between B and C and point number 3 lies outside all of them. Now I want you to recall a uh, uh, result from Gauss law from this chapter. If we have a uniformly charged uh, wire, a thread, uniformly charged thread, okay, line charge with some charge density lambda, charge per unit length, then field due to this uh, uh, line charge is given by E is equal lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. Lambda is the uh, charge per unit length of this line charge. R is distance from this line charge, from this wire, from this thread, whatever it is. And then if we have a slender, a long uh, slender, a very long slender, hollow, I'm taking it hollow. So charge is distributed on its surface, charge is distributed on its surface. Then from Gauss law, you must know this. Uh, for points lying outside the cylinder, for points lying outside the cylinder, field is given by the same equation. Meaning that this uh, cylindrical shell, this uniformly charged cylindrical shell, behaves like a line charge along its axis. It behaves the same way. And the field is given by the same equation, lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. This is outside. Okay, this is outside. And inside the cylinder, field is zero. It doesn't matter what is charged on the surface of the cylinder, provided it is uniformly charged. It doesn't matter what is charged, what is lambda charge per unit length. Uh, field inside is always zero in case of a uniformly charged hollow cylinder. Now we'll use this result to solve this, uh, uh, this problem here, which is at our hand. Let me show the cross section of this system. We have a uniformly charged cylinder A with a charge of uh, plus 3Q0. So we have a charge of plus 3Q0 here, plus 3Q0. Then we have B and C. And we have point number, number 1 here between A and B. We have to find out charge on B and charge on C. So that field at point number 1 becomes 0, if it is possible, if at all this is possible. Okay, now just now we saw field inside a charged cylinder due to a charged cylinder, uniformly charged cylinder is zero. Let's use that here. Point number one is lying inside B. Okay, point number one is lying inside B. So field at point number one due to this cylinder B is going to be zero irrespective of the charge on B, irrespective of the charge on B. So cylinder B does not contribute anything to the field at point number one. Same goes for cylinder C. Cylinder C does not contribute anything to the field at point number one because point number one is lying inside it. Then uh, uh, this cylinder A with this charge plus 3Q0 uh, will have some non-zero electric field here. So field at point number one is only because of A and that will be non-zero because it is having some charge and because the point one is lying outside the cylinder, B and C will not contribute anything to the field. So it is impossible for field to be zero at point number one. Okay. So in the first case, 
it is impossible to make field zero at point number one. It is impossible. It does not matter what is charge on B and what is charge on C. Even if charge on B is zero, even if charge on C is zero, even if B and C are positively charged or negatively charged, it doesn't matter. Point number one, uh, field at point number one cannot be zero. Okay, cannot be zero. Only if A is having charge zero, but that is having some uh, positive charge as given in this uh, problem. Okay, so first case, it is impossible to make field zero at point number one. Then the next case, Next case, point number two is here. Between B and C, okay? Between B and C. So point number two is lying outside A. So A will definitely contribute to the electric field. B is also, uh, for B, point number two is again outside B. So B will also contribute to field this time, okay? But C will not contribute to the field because point number two is lying inside C, okay? Point number two is lying inside C. So C, what is charge on C? It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Then, in order to make uh, a field zero at point number uh, two, we need total charge to be zero. Okay, we need total charge to be zero. This uh, 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 cylinder A is having a charge of plus three Q, plus three Q zero, and it behaves like a line charge along its axis. So it behaves like a line charge along its axis. B is also having some, uh, uh, some charge. And it will also behave like a line charge along its axis. So suppose A contributes to lambda 1 along its axis and B contributes to lambda 2 along this axis. So field at 2 will be contributed by lambda 1 and lambda 2. And field at 2 is 0 only if lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is 0. See, field outside is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0. R, the only way to make field 0 is lambda should be 0. Total lambda in this case should be 0. And that means total charge should be 0. Total charge should be 0 means QA plus QB must be equal to 0. So this implies QB is equal to minus times QA. And this implies QB is equal to minus, not 2, where did I get this 2 from? Minus Q times uh, uh, A, so minus 3 times QO. QA is 3 times Q, not, so QB is equal to minus 3 times QO. So charge on B should be negative and equal, opposite and equal to that of charge on A. Then only point B, a uh, field will be 0 at point number 2. And charge on C, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. QC does not matter. Whatever charge on C, positive, negative, zero, non-zero, it does not matter. Uh, it will not play any role for field at point number two. Okay, so QB should be equal and negative of uh, uh, QA and C, it doesn't matter. Then the third case, okay, then the third point number three is here. Now it is lying outside A, it is lying outside B, it is lying outside C. Okay, outside A, outside B, outside C. So all the three cylinders will contribute to field at point number three. And all the three cylinders, since point is lying outside them, all the three cylinders will behave like line, line charges along its axis. So total line charge density at, along its axis will be lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3. And for field to be 0, that lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 must be 0. So lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 must be equal to 0. Or QA plus QB plus QC is equal to 0. Sum of line charge density is 0, that means total charge is also 0. So this implies QB plus QC is equal to minus QA or QB plus QC is equal to minus 3 times QO. Minus 3 times QO. So QB and QC, charge on B and charge on C, together must be equal and opposite to that of A. So individually, what should be the values of B and C? There are multiple possibilities. In uh, The total of the two must be three time, minus 3 times Q0. So individually, they can have they can have many combinations. Suppose this one is having uh, say six Q zero, 
this one is having minus 6 q0 the other one is having plus uh, 3 q0 the total will be minus 3 q0 anyways the sum should be equal to minus 3 q0 that's it individually there are many possible values so many uh, in fact infinite possible solutions we don't have any other equation so we can't find a value of qb separately and value of qc separately together all we can say is b and c together must have charge equal and opposite to that of a for field to be zero at point number three okay so that'll do for this session